Hello, we are today in New Malden, a suburb of South London. It has the largest Korean population in Europe and outside of Korea. So we are going to go around New Malden to experience Korea here in London. We are going to meet its residents, try to learn more about its history and also try its delicious foods. New Malden has about 25,000 Korean residents, including South Koreans, North Koreans and Korean Chinese. With all it has to offer, it's earning its well-deserved title of Koreatown. And uh, three year, four year trading restaurant there, and then we moved to here, New Malden, uh, because uh, Korean community yes. growing up. So, and your customers, is it mostly Korean people, or is it also when, do you have the two when I open, as well? opening uh, time? Many Korean customer, mm -hmm. 70 80 percent. Oh, okay, 70 80 percent. Uh, nowadays, mm. um, mixed people, okay, uh, it's 70 percent. Oh, really? Okay. Now we change it. Also, we thinking of uh, Korean open uh, Korean festival. Ah? Korean food festival ah, okay. in New Melbourne. In You're thinking June. of doing yeah, this in June. Oh. In June, yeah, oh, okay. In June. So now getting busy for me. Oh yes, yes. right. My restaurant um, is now trading for thirty, nearly thirty-four years. Mm -hmm. I always look at look after customer. Mm -hmm. um, number one and uh, uh, food is uh, very uh, uh, traditional traditional we yes. cook mm, my husband uh, is the chef your husband is the yeah, chef yeah the chef me for me also i learned from my husband uh, like uh, now chef and uh, do you cook as well yes i oh. cook as well and uh, we uh, together running a restaurant uh, the moment until uh, today, 조금 멀지만 하이스트를 거쳐서 오게 되지만 그래도 맛있는 음식을 드시려면 어, 유메간으로 어, 찾아오세요. 그리고 어, 저희는 음, 한국식 중화 요리를 어, 정통 중화 요리를 어, 88년부터 1988년부터 어, 오늘날까지 정성을 들여서 에, 만들고 있습니다. 아무 때나 오시면 친절하게 서빙 해드리겠습니다. 감사합니다. 네. 너무 감사합니다. <웃음> 아, 시간 해주셔서 너무 감사합니다. 감사합니다. <웃음> So the food has just arrived and what I love about Korean food is that it's so varied, loads of flavors and loads of colors as well. So we have some banchan, we have some pachon, vegetarian pancakes, we have some kimchi, we also have some jjajangmyeon, I'm very excited about this. We have bibimbap um, and some tea, ginseng tea to go with it. Alongside dishes called banchan, I ordered two main traditional ones. Jjajangmyeon, noodles in a black bean sauce, and bibimbap, consisting of rice topped with sautéed vegetables, often meat, chili paste, and an egg. I am now going to meet Becky, a half Korean, half English foodie. Her mission, through videos and social media, is to promote authentic Korean food and more recently to try to put New Malden on the map as being the Korea town of London. Most of the Korean restaurants in New Malden are Korean owned, Korean families and although not all of them are trained chefs, they have what my mum has which is uh, Son Map. So they've learnt from their ancestors the authentic taste and they remember it by tasting it themselves and they share it in 
what you would try in their restaurant. New Morden has been a career town for so many years and it's developed now into what we see today. In the 60s and 70s, uh, the Korean embassy was based here and then also the Korean ambassador lived here. And when Samsung, uh, it had its headquarters nearby New Morden and then after that many more Korean companies decided to settle here because the embassy was here, the Samsung was here, so lots of Korean business began to settle here and then with that of course they need, uh, they need hairdressers, they need shops, they need restaurants, they need um, residents association where they can find information so from that a hub of a solid form of a Korean community began and then over the years through word of mouth people began to know New Morden is where Korean people live so then they wanted to be in close proximity because often language is quite a barrier for right. Koreans to learn English so quickly so they felt more comfortable being amongst their own community. Uh, recently we had the Kingston Korean Festival and that was celebrating the 15th of August um, Korea's Independence Day and it was also celebrating Chuseok which is the autumn festival but in one and I was so mesmerized that Kingston Council recognized all the good work that the Korean community do and they actually supported the Kingston Korean Festival and the mayor of Kingston came and the Korean ambassador came and that was a huge event for the Korean community where they had um, North Korean and South Korean food tasting because of course it's not just South Koreans that reside here there are North Koreans there are Korean Chinese but we all live in one community together so I was really glad that they showcased that we also have um, Kim Jang festival which is making kimchi for the winter and there are always some sorts of events going on to do with the Korean community my most favourite memory of New Morden is recently the Kingston Korean Festival that was held in September. There was um, a Taekwondo performance and the I think they're called Taekwondo Limited, um, but it's actually a, a British man who owns the, um, the club and he trains anyone and everyone to learn Taekwondo, but more specifically he trains those with um, some learning disabilities to have the confidence right. to fight and stand up for themselves and they did a performance at the Kingston Korean Festival and it was as as a Korean person it was so beautiful to see how respectful they were at learning the art of Taekwondo and seeing just other communities embrace Korean culture and I think when I interviewed many other Koreans on that day for the festival many of them said the same as me that now we're seeing other cultures represent Korean culture right. and it just shows how far we've come that now other people are interested in Korean culture and want to learn it respectfully and that performance was really amazing seeing the Hallyu wave and seeing how popular Korean culture has become, it sometimes still surprises me that it's come this far. But with that, because it's, it's come so strongly and now there's so many Korean restaurants in London that have a watered down version of Korean food because they have a wider audience to serve. But with that comes lots of um, misunderstanding of what real Korean food is. And that's why I always try to encourage people, even though it may be a long journey, if you're living outside of London or in London, to come to New Morden and try real authentic Korean food because then they will have a taste of Korea if they come to Koreatown, New Morden. What I really hope is that um, on, the, on New Morden Station, it says New Morden. I really hope that one day underneath it can say K-Town because oh, it beautiful. is the K-Town of London, like that we've got Chinatown in London. And I hope maybe in the future the council might recognize it because they know New Morden is the Korea town of London, but just having that on a plaque would be amazing. Today was an interesting day. I hope that we inspired you to come and visit New Morden to experience Korean culture. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.